What's up guys? Well, today, I know it's not our normal uh, video. Today I want to talk to you guys about this. The S21. New phone. Been rocking it for about three weeks. As a daily, semi-daily driver. Because uh, I always carry two. Two phones. So, today, let's discuss this. So, the S21, before we get started, I want to first and foremost acknowledge that no, I'm not being sponsored by Samsung. I doubt Samsung will even actually watch this. So, this is my 100% honest review. And as many of you know, I've always been an Apple user. I got my iPad, my iPhone, strongly used these. This is my daily driver along with this. I've been rocking it for three weeks, like I said, using it daily, use it a lot for work. This was my old daily driver, which I'm probably going back to just because I, I do enjoy the form factor of the fold, larger screen, really gives me more, more space to work with. So I'll probably be going back to that soon, but I do enjoy this phone immensely. So I'll talk a little bit about what I really like about this and couple of things I dislike about it first and foremost the phone actually came with like a instead of Bixby it has I don't know if you can see that the Google launcher so much better than Bixby it listens too much amazing phone this is the S21 5G, not the Plus, not the Ultra, but I do enjoy this phone. And honestly, size comparison, it's really not much different than my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, what are some of the things I really like about it? Well, it does come with the Google Launcher. It does have uh, this is the 120 gig model, so it doesn't have expandable storage, which is kind of, kind of annoying. On my Fold, I have 512 gigs of memory space. This one only 128. Refresh screen, 120 hertz. I'm used to that with the iPad. The iPhone obviously does not have that, so it is very nice, beautiful for scrolling and just doing those, those little scrolling shots, those shots when you're scrolling uh, the launcher is amazing I use the the home page kind of launcher beautiful design feels great in the hand this is a plastic back but honestly I don't notice it it's very matte does not show off fingerprints like ever which is amazing for me it is it has been just a great experience using this. One of the pluses I love about this phone, the camera system. This, along with Samsung's uh, like pro video, pro camera system that they offer on their phones, allows me to shoot in 8K 24 frames per second. That's huge. One of the reasons I've never used this phone for video is it only shoots in 30 frames per second even in the pro setup which hopefully they change at some point but i don't know if that's something they can change with just a software update only shoots 30 or 60. now both of these phones have an ultra slow-mo which is amazing i uh, do enjoy that uh, i've used it a few times but this has kind of become my b-roll monster AK is very nice, uh, looks pretty good when I'm editing. The one issue I do have is Samsung's color science. Right now I'm shooting on a Canon. Uh, I do have an app for the iPhone that gives me a little more. It's called Filmic Pro. It allows me to do more things. Really kind of give me more of a, a log look. Uh, better for color uh, color grading 
downloaded it for this, but it only goes to 4K. Still not bad. I do enjoy getting the colors out of this, but it does shoot a little darker than the iPhone. I have to manually adjust the S21 a lot more when I'm just basically trying to do any kind of filming. I do, I have been using it for my other channel, shooting uh, as my secondary, my B cam on a tripod, so it, it does work very well for that. Feels good in the hand, only 120 gigs. Again, does not have expandable storage, so. Does not have expandable storage, but that's fine. Not something I really need because again, you got like 256 on here, 512 on my other uh, phone. So I just make sure I pull all everything off of this that I can. The stills, just taking regular photos on this is amazing. Only because this is one of the first phones I've ever used that actually uses like the whole screen as the viewfinder, which is amazing. Everything else I use kind of cuts, gives you bars on the side or on the top and bottom. And the camera on this, it has a 64, cam uh, 64 uh, megapixel f2.0, uh, 29 millimeter telephoto. It has a 12 megapixel f1.8, 26 millimeter uh, cameras and then it's in a 12 megapixel f2.2 which is your ultra wide uh, just amazing amazing uh, technologies on these phones the battery life I found has lasted me all day uh, I wouldn't consider myself a power user but many might consider me a power user I'm literally on one or two devices literally not stop all day and this has a gotta look this up real quick i can't remember everything it has a 4000 milliamp hour battery uh with with fast charging now it does come with a cable it does not come with a brick luckily i do use a samsung laptop the samsung galaxy book s s which comes with a 25 watt charger so this thing charges super fast and again it forms into what i really like i love everything type c apple if you're ever listening type c everything would be just downright amazing getting files off of this getting the photos off of this charging it anything i need to do is amazing because again it is type c the ipad's type c my laptop is type c so just having that everything very similar is one of my core yeah make everything as close and as similar as possible and now it does have the octa-core uh processor in it i believe it is a snapdragon uh yeah the 8350 or snapdragon 888 uh, which is an octa-core processor. It also has eight gigs of RAM. <coughs> so it is very snappy, very fast. Again, just a joy to use. 6.2 inch screen, just, just amazing. Now you'll notice I carried this with a case, this without. I would rather rock both without a case. Problem is sometimes they end up in the same pocket and I feel that one of them has to have a case on it in case they bump screens or bump camera modules. So, since I already had a D-brand case for my iPhone, this one goes without. The platform on this is I, uh, Android 11. One of the things I did want to kind of touch on is with Android 11 and iPhone's newest iOS, the line between Apple and Samsung or Android is really becoming blurred. They are so much alike. There's only a few things now that I can say that Apple I think does better and there's a few things I can say Android does better. As an avid uh, Google services user that line's even more blurred because I really like, well I use Google on both of these, Google Maps, 
photos, uh, the whole Google sweep, YouTube of course. And really the two phones and their systems are becoming so much alike where I think there's a greater difference between like PC and Mac than there is on the phone sides as far as Android and iOS. <coughs> so again, this is just my quick take on the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. <clears throat> now, I've also used 5G with this phone. Uh, my plan does come with 5G, so I was able to test out or try to test out 5G. I have yet to notice any real difference between 5G and 4G, and that's in my area. And honestly, I think for most Americans, having 5G available is cool. But most of us will never use it. I don't live in a city big enough where 5G is available at all times. So, 5G. It's there, it's available. Have I used it? I haven't noticed. Nothing downloads super fast and 90% of the times I'm on Wi-Fi anyways. I'm using uh, Wi-Fi at work, Wi-Fi at home. It just, I, it, it's something that it's gonna be 10, 15 years, I think before, or maybe sooner before most Americans will have full access to it at all times. Security on this. Apple has done something, they've been doing it since the iPhone 10, and that is face unlock. Super fast, super awesome, except for now. We're in a pandemic. And I, a lot of times at work I'm wearing a mask. I do have face unlock option on here. It is, I do use it, but it also has an underscreen fingerprint reader super snappy super fast and when i'm wearing a mask that makes it, that works so much faster and easier than trying to get to the unlock screen where i put my pen in for the iphone the one thing i will say the underscreen fingerprint reader isn't as fast reading my fingerprint as the fingerprint reader on the side of the fold and i'm sure the fold 2 is even faster this is the original fold uh but so far this has been an amazing phone. I do like having it on the side out of the way. It makes it very nice. So, hope you guys find this useful. For most of you, I think going with the Samsung Galaxy S21 standard 5G, 120 gigs, I would, if this is gonna be the only phone you have, I would go for the 256 model because there is no expandable storage. Other than that, great phone. The color science is for those that are just, at, you know, you go around, you just snap normal photos, do what you're saying, it's fine. Uh, for me, it's a little soft. I do like something like, it's a little easier to color grade. This is a little bit harder to color grade. That's why it's, it's my B-cam master, but not a main shooter for me. If I were to shoot on something, again, I got my Canon, my GoPros. I got a lot of options when it comes to cameras, so. I do use these in a pinch. I have used this multiple times. Uh, I do prefer the iPhone's camera system and what I'm able to do with it when it comes to uh, video. Photos are amazing. The telephoto on this is much better than the iPhone. Uh, it goes up to 30 times, but I've never really gone past 10, only because it I shake too much and it just it looks really blown out. So. I don't think you need to go really that far with it. It does have, uh, again, speakers. It's got the speaker grill at the bottom. Does not sound horrible. Watching content on it. Uh, I'm not big on watching content on my phone or playing games on my phone for that matter. Or phones, I should say. But it is just super smooth, super fast. Again, it's just another slab, another brick, I would say, as all phones are becoming. And again, that's why I like the Fold, I think, just a little bit better than I do this. Even though they're both, I think, top quality, premium phones. The finish on it, it just feels great in the hand. Easy to hold, easy to just keep your grip on. And that's something I think with a lot of these phones that are going with like glass backs, Plastic back, but it, does, it feels premium. It feels great. Just amazing. Uh, again, the screen gets a little 
gets my fingerprints all over it with the Gorilla, gla ugh, gorilla Glass. But the back does not, and I like that. It just feels amazing. And not having a case on it because it is a plastic back, I don't feel like I'm gonna break it every five seconds. So again, that is just amazing. If this is gonna be your only phone, I think this is a great choice. You can get a lot of discounts through carriers right now, especially just for the regular 5G, not the Plus or the Ultra. I don't need all the extras that they, they bring with them. Uh, sometimes I even kind of kick myself for going for the 11 Pro Max when honestly the 11 Pro probably would have done everything I needed it to do. Alright guys, well thanks for sticking around, thanks for checking out my video and please leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Uh, I do like kind of shooting these uh, kind of tech reviews on different products that I use. Obviously, I'm not going to be like a, a Linus or a Marquez Brownlee, only because I'm not going to just pick something up. If I'm going to pick something up, it's going to be something I use and I want to use and continue to use. So, again, great phone, something to always keep in mind. And guys, I will see you tomorrow. Peace.